hey guys welcome so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i flat iron my hair but first i'm going to show you what my hair looks like freshly washed and clean and i am also freshly relaxed so this is a slight link check that i'm trying to show you guys right here what my hair looks like and this is what my hair looks like blow dried so if you want to see a video of what my hair looks like blow dry and how i do it i will link the video down below as you guys can see i have a lot of volume a lot of thickness and um i can always rock my hair like this but for my preference i like to have the sleek look and i love to flat iron my hair so i'm going to start off by using this serum by garnier so that it can protect my hair from the heat and so that i don't cause a lot of um heat damage then i'm going to try to use this um serum from ion but i wasn't too much of a fan of it i picked it up during the sally's um clearance sale and i gravitate more towards the garnier fruities oil because it has avocado olive oil and i believe grapeseed oil and i know for sure that avocado and olive oil penetrates into the hair strands so that is really good for the health of my hair so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to section my hair off into two parts and then i am going to section it again so that um it'll be easier for me to flat iron my hair and i'm going to comb out my hair so that i can get away um get the tangles away and then again section it off so that it will be easy for me to flat iron my hair so i'm going to take a pump of the serum and i'm going to try to distribute it all over my hair from the tips to um, the roots and I'm trying to show you how much I use but I'm a heavy-handed person so I like to make sure that the majority of my strands are coated with some kind of protection So now I'm going to section off the back of my nape and I'm going to comb through it so that I can get the tangles out and help the flat iron to pass smoothly throughout the strands and just gently pull down. Now the smoke that you see is from the heat protectant so I'm not burning my hair or frying my hair it comes from the heat protectant and from there i'm just going to continue to do the same thing just make small sections and slowly but surely just glide the flat iron um, down the strands of my hair now my hair is getting longer so um i'm not able to get all the way to the roots just depending on how i angle on my hands and finding the right position but i am adjusting and hopefully i'll get better at flat ironing my hair and as you guys can see my ends look terrible i have suffered a setback i over processed my hair I tried to use a new relaxer um, during the quarantine. I was having issues of finding a relaxer in the store and I didn't want to necessarily go into the store. So I tried to order online and some of the relaxers were overpriced. Some of the reviews were bad. So I took a chance and it was not a good one. So uh, if you'd like to see that video, I will also link that down below so you can check that out. 
I did experience a lot of breakage as well as I've experienced some shedding. Um, I still experience some shedding to this day, so I'm trying to figure out why I'm still shedding. But I'm really trying to combat the breakage and I'm going to try to moisturize my hair more and um you know just try to manipulate my hair less so that i don't have lots of breakage or shedding and just kind of leave my hair alone and i will give myself a haircut so that i can at least get rid of the damaged ends and continue to do the best that i can so i hope that you guys um enjoy my flat ironing video again i will be cutting my hair i did experience a major setback um but i will bounce back from it and continue to grow my hair um how are you guys doing during this pandemic how are you managing with your hair i know that some places salons are open again um i never really went to a salon i usually just have my mom help me do my relaxer but how are you guys doing with your hair during the pandemic did some of you guys try to relax your hair on your um on yourself i mean by yourself did you have someone help you how many weeks post are you because i know some people are more than 12 weeks post due to being indoors for three months and i saw that some people were relaxing at home some people were stretching to 15 and 16 weeks so leave a comment down below and leave some tips of how you were able to manage uh, stretching your hair during the pandemic because i know um someone would love to um get some advice and we can all help each other so um definitely leave a comment down below and i will be reading them so that we can all help each other um take better care of our hair